King Ahab was a mean king who did not believe in God. He summoned his palace administrator, Obadiah. Go through the land to all the springs and valleys. Maybe we can find some grass to keep the horses and mules alive so we will not have to kill any of our animals. And so they went. Now Obadiah was a good man. He believed in God, and he even hid some of the prophets from King Ahab so that he wouldn't kill them. He met the prophet Elijah on his way. Go tell your master, Elijah is here. Why would you do that? Surely Ahab will kill you. But fine, I will do it if it's what you want. And so Obadiah left to go tell King Ahab. Elijah wishes to speak with you. Elijah, you troublemaker. I have not made trouble for Israel, but you and your father's family have. You have abandoned the Lord's commands and have followed your god, Baal. Now summon the people from all over Israel to meet me on Mount Carmel, and bring the 450 prophets of Baal. So King Ahab did as Elijah told him. Ahab sent word throughout all Israel and assembled the prophets on Mount Carmel. The special thing about it is that it was considered the sacred spot of Baal. How long will you waver between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal is God, follow him. I am the only one of the Lord's prophets left, but Baal has 450 prophets. We will both prepare altars for our gods, and whichever god answers with fire, he is the true god. Oh, and you can go first. Shout louder, maybe he is sleeping. We give up. Okay, everybody, now it's my turn. Your name shall be Israel. Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known today that you are God in Israel, and that I am your servant, and have done all these things at your command. Answer me, Lord, answer me, so these people will know that you, Lord, are God, and that you are turning their hearts back again. No, that's impossible. So, which God do you choose? Yahweh Elijah's is the God, God of Israel. And so God reestablished that he was the God of Israel.